In other news that we're following for you, uh, the uh, news of one of France's uh, cinema greats passing, Jean-Louis Trintignant, uh, whose career started uh, in the 1950s with the uh, 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 cult classic And God Created Woman, starring Brigitte Bardot as the jilted lover. Uh, he uh, was in the Oscar-winning 1966 f film A Man and a Woman. Uh, Jean-Louis Trintignant, uh, whose career spanned the globe and who was working basically right up until the end. Uh, for more, uh, let's cross now to uh, Peter Bradshaw, criti film critic for newspaper The Guardian. Thank you for speaking with us here uh, on France 24. Uh, arguably one of France's biggest names in the cinema, uh, still alive, if yes. not the biggest. Yes, I mean, he's uh, almost a folk memory, or was a living folk memory of French cinema from way back to the, the new wave and, and, uh, and before the new wave. Uh, and he carried on. He was a, a fascinating, piercingly intelligent actor. Uh, he had a kind of screen presence which was demanding and challenging and almost confrontational. He wasn't an ingratiating presence as an actor. He was never, he was a handsome man as a younger man. He was a handsome guy, but in a way he grew into his looks when he lost his conventional handsomeness a bit, and kind of cragged up uh, and became much more formidable uh, and, and proactive as a, as a figure. He's uh, unlike say a figure like Alain Delon, who, is, you know, who, who has offered a kind of confectionery of a presence to the, to the cinema screen. Trantignon was much more difficult than that much more opaque, uh, much more intractable. Uh, he, um, as you say, I mean, he started off with, in, uh, and, uh, with uh, Brigitte Bardot, uh, and in a way, of course, like everybody else on screen, was destined to be upstaged by Brigitte Bardot, but because he was never the conventionally good-looking guy, he held his own against Brigitte Bardot and had his own career. Um, the, the role that I remember him most vividly, I suppose, is one of his great, the great late life roles uh, in Amour, opposite Emmanuel Riva, uh, for the director Michael Haneke, where he plays an elderly, uh, an elderly man who has to look after his wife after she suffers a stroke, uh, and of course promises her that he will never put her in a home, never will put her in an institution, uh, and in the agony and in a way the pre-death grief that he experiences, he also experiences a, a, an intense late flowering of his own love for his wife in a way he, in a tragic way, he falls in love with his wife all over again in these circumstances. It's the most complex and difficult and painful set of emotions to convey, but Trantignon did it brilliantly and he was the, I think, the only actor who could have done it. And uh, another role, uh, that, that role, certainly one of the most poignant ones in his later life, Another role that comes to mind, especially uh, when you look at the current news cycle, is The Conformist, uh, Bernardo Bertolucci's classic, in yeah. which uh, Trintignant yeah. plays a hitman sent by Mussolini to France. Yes. Uh, he is, again, conflicted, haunted, uh, suppressed and repressed, uh, a, a gay man who can't come to terms with with, with his own sexuality, his own identity. It's part of that uh, period in European cinema in the 70s, 60s and 70s, when fascism was seen very often as terms, in terms of sexual dysfunction. Now, I don't know quite all, how, how useful that is in, in the long run, but it certainly generated some brilliant cinema. And this is one of those films, those amazing films, Bert, Bert, Bertolucci's The Conformist, where he became somebody who has to assassinate his former doctoral supervisor. And again, only Trintignant could have conveyed the tragic division within his own mind, in his own heart, in his own soul, that self-reproach, that self-hate that he's had to suppress and keep tamped down and, uh, and show how, it, how the, the repressed returns in the form of violence and fascism. Uh, it's a it's an amazing role. It's a, a classic, an iconic role for Trentino. So many more of those movies to talk about. Peter Bradshaw, many.